Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to have you guys here for another video. If you guys are watching this right now, that means you have survived 2020. If you guys are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. You have landed on the best French Bulldog channel out there on YouTube, where I talk to you guys about nutrition, training, care, and to get you guys prepared before you guys bring your little fur friend home. Before we get started in today's video, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. If you guys get some value out of these videos, especially this one, then make sure you smash the like button 2021 style and yeah, let's jump into this video. All right, so I know that there's a lot of you guys out there that have bond dogs over the winter or are self considering on getting a French Bulldog during the winter months. So this video is gonna be just for you. If you guys are living in warmer climates like say California or Florida, then maybe some of the points in this video are not gonna be as applicable to you. But if you live in Canada like I do or in other cooler, climate parts of the US then this video is going to be just for you because I'm going to go over some of the pros and cons of getting a French Bulldog in the winter months. So stick around for the video and let's just jump right into it. Okay so to kick off my list of pros I am going to start off by saying that it's a lot easier to train a dog in the winter months especially a French Bulldog because a lot of people they're spending more time at home uh, rather than making plans after work and going out. So it's a lot easier um, for owners to stick to a consistent schedule and a routine for the dog and to spend more time with your dog um, to stay committed to a training program. One of the biggest benefits of getting a French Bulldog in the winter months is that being that they're puppies, they're gonna be spending most of their time indoors and sleeping which is actually good because they're going to be less exposed to any kinds of parasites or worms or uh, giardia. And being that they're puppies, their immune systems are still very fragile. It's still developing so they can easily pick up these uh, different kinds of parasites while they're still young. So because of that, I do think it is a really big benefit when you do get your French Bulldog in the winter months. Now Truffles is a great example for this point and it is a very debatable point and it's not applicable to all dogs, but in my experience, I do find that it's a lot easier to potty train dogs in the winter months just because once I do get them used to going outside, they do associate that once they do their business outside, that the faster and the faster they uh, get it done, the quicker they're going to be left back inside to go back into their warm beds. I think we could all agree that it's a family goal when you do bring a puppy home for the first time to really integrate the puppy into the family. So because of that, I think it's really a good idea if you are bringing a dog home in the winter months because most of the family members are going to be at home, especially the kids, they're going to be off school. So it's really good to expose not only your puppy to the kids, but the, the kids to the puppy to teach them how to be gentle with uh, a dog or a puppy at this age or adjusting the dog and teaching it how to behave with uh, younger children. All right, so Philly wanted to join us for our cons list. So I'm gonna kind of dive in a little bit deeper with uh, socializing your dog uh, during the winter months. Um, it is a lot difficult uh, just because it is very cold outside. Uh, your puppy's not gonna wanna be outside for a long time. Neither are you and your friends aren't gonna wanna, you know, meet up for play dates for like, you know, hours. So it's gonna be a challenge to get your dog out there to be socialized with other dogs and other animals. So you're gonna be very limited with how much exposure you could um, have your dog um, having. <laughs> so if you're getting your dog in the winter months, what you're gonna experience that it's gonna be a little bit more expensive for you just because uh, your dog is going to need uh, some kind of warm clothing if you're going to be taking it out for walks or doing any kind of training outside, especially for the potty training. And because they are young and still growing, they do grow like weeds. So you might experience that you're going to be, you know, get, buying clothes more often um, than you would uh, like to. For those of you that have kids, you will understand because Having a puppy is just like having a toddler. They grow really quickly. 
and they always require um, clothing because they grow out of them so quick. All right, so Fui is a great example of this next point. Because he is trained and I take him out for longer walks, I do have to consider the protection of his paws. So I have to get him boots or sometimes what I do is I use uh, a wax as a barrier to protect his paws from chemicals and other kinds of things like salt. So if you're getting a puppy in the winter, that's something that you might have to, uh, or want to think about rather, um, that you're gonna want to protect their paws uh, from all that nasty stuff out there. And also it really helps to just keep their paws really um, soft and hydrated. And um, yeah, it's just like kind of using like moisturizer on your hand, but that's definitely something that you're gonna wanna consider um, when you are getting your puppy in the winter. All right, so for my last con, um, if you are getting or considering to getting a French Bulldog in the winter months is that it means that there's going to be a lot more uncomfortable weather conditions for both you and your dog. Being that it is winter, we have a lot less daylight, so it gets darker a lot sooner. Like it's 4.30 right now and it's already dark outside. So that means that it's going to be a lot colder outside too. So um, it's just not really, it's not enjoyable taking your dog out for a walk or doing anything really in terms of training for them, especially when it comes to potty training. But hopefully your dog is one of those ones that um, does very well outside when it comes to potty training in the cold and it's going to do its business and run back inside. All right, my friends, that's it for today. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked it, smash that like button. Drop me a comment down below and let me know if this video helped you in your decision making process before buying a French Bulldog. And if you guys liked this content, then you guys should definitely go check out some of my other videos. All right, so I'm out of here. Um, I got a vegan burger waiting for me and I'm gonna go, I need to go get it. This isn't made with chicken. Guys, if you live in London, Ontario, then you guys got to check out the V spot. It's on Hamilton Street. I drove two hours today just to get donuts and I got this like vegan sandwich. I'm not even vegan. And it is just so, so, so good. By the way, this video is not sponsored by them. I just genuinely really enjoy their sandwiches. So you guys got to, you guys got to go check it out. And then make sure you hit this the smash button. <laughs> smash button at the end of the <laughs> oh my god so happy to have you here it's not that easy it's not as easy as you think i shouldn't have added that like why 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 did i go off course it's okay you got this all right I don't know why I'm yelling. Do I need to be yelling? Am I yelling? I think you're just a little bit nervous. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Oh my god. Dan! Do you want me to record this part for you? Is this recording? I haven't even picked up the dog. Where is she? She's sleeping. God bless you. <laughs> Okay, take 17. Okay, take 17 and cut.